This might be the craziest all new unit roster that we will do so far here on ASTD. Bro, this is gonna be nuts. It's so cold. Snow Squad, it's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in All-Star Tower Defense, and tradition must prevail. So, on this video guys, we're going to be using all those new awesome units and OP, OP units that we got from this update. And, <laughs> oh my god guys, even though we don't have Urban buff for this roster, God dang, we are definitely not lacking some damage. But anyway, guys, this is really going to be crazy. Let's now go to an infinite mode and let's see how much destruction this roster brings. Let's go. Yo, this roster that we have right now is almost a complete package because obviously, guys, it's it's just lacking maybe a support unit, but three of them would be able to hit those, you know, like air units and two of them would be burning unit, which is really going to be a very good support damager as well. So, yeah, every single one of them is really, really awesome. But anyway, I'm really happy, guys, that Avdol and also who is this uh, Shinra is not really like 100 percent filler unit because well both of them can be really useful on the newest challenge mode like the challenge number two unless you don't care about it but you get what i mean so my plan here guys is probably save some cash to place our luffy because luffy sama would be our cheapest air defense that we have here as i can see so yeah let's just hope for the best and hopefully bull mama five star will give us every single cash that we will be needing on this one Ooh, just about time wave number 16 and we now got our maxed out bull mama farm and that means we can now place our snake man luffy sama in a bit and by the way guys i'll just be placing our luffy in the middle because i just want him to you know like do his job as a sniper and not really gonna be you know like utilizing these straight pathways maybe we can also but you know like in the end game anyway it's not gonna be like a big big game changer so yeah i'd rather have him hit everything all the way like on the entire map oh my god that lag is so dangerous <laughs> all right please do not disconnect me i hope that we will not be disconnected though because i'm pretty sure that this is gonna be a heck of a run and oh shoot uh just because of our luffy snake man's animation pretty sure that we won't be able to turn on our effects probably a little bit later guys but god dang i'm going to turn it off right now otherwise we will be glitching the heck out of this run so I'll turn off the attack effects and yeah we're just gonna place all of our luffy's here so that they can act as a sniper and again guys it's okay for him to be, you know, a sniper the way who he is because, well, uh, we will have like a decent amount of, you know, supporting unit for the damage, especially for those uh, against those ground units. We have Shinra and also Avdol here. And by the way, guys, who among these new units do you already have? I think that many of you guys should have already got either Gilgamesh or probably Kakashi. I mean, getting Gilgamesh is not really that hard. Kakashi is, in my opinion, because, well, you will be needing what? I think that three kakashi if i'm not mistaken three kakashi and then two obitos so i was really not expecting that because if i just knew that obito would be part of the you know like the materials then i wouldn't have fed him because i believe that i had like um, four obitos before but it is what it is guys you know what's really annoying when i created my kakashi six star guys well, the game really decided to use my level 60 Obito, even though I actually tried to have like one extra Obito, guys. So yeah, that was really, really annoying. But anyway, all of our Luffy sniper here are already placed. So I guess that I'm just going to place our boy uh, Shinra next so shinra would actually go here well together with abdul but since abdul would be like um semi aoe cone type of unit so we're gonna place our shinra like inside of this corner like this 
so that we will be able to maximize his burning potential. And I'm not gonna lie though, Shinra and also Avdol might actually help you for the current event. And speaking of the current event, guys, I now have like 30k points and I think that I'm only gonna be grinding <laughs> up until 50k because I think that it's just not worth the grind. I mean, literally, the developers decided all of a sudden to make it an endurance competition between those teams and th that's just not really fair, guys. Like, imagine those members of the blue team who actually grinded the heck out of the story mode just to hit like 100% first and once they're already like, what, maybe 92%, all of a sudden, they will actually get like a, an announcement saying that oh wait 100 is not gonna be the end for this guys it's gonna be like all the way till the end of the duration of this event like bro that is really madness guys like <laughs> i can actually feel the frustration from those players even though they're not really talking to me but anyway we are now done with our shinras as well it's now gonna be about time for our avdol and you know like this straight pathway will be Avdol's specialty. So I'm gonna place our Avdol here, set him to last, and, oh, actually, he will be Netero, guys. So, yeah, I think that placing him probably, hmm, where should we place him? Yeah, I actually wanted our um, Avdol to probably give us like initial damage, but at the same time, hit both sides of the map. Yeah, I would be happy about this. Look at that. So that he will be able to give us like initial damage here. The only ways of damage that we will have here, guys, will be the burning effect from Shinra and also Avdol because since it's going to be the same burning damage, it is not going to be stacking, guys. So yeah, that, that that's really bad because <laughs> that means either Avdol or probably Shinra's damage would just be nullified like their, you know, like their burning damage, those tick damage. So, I mean, we're actually talking about what? maybe 50 to 60k damage and that's actually a lot considering that there are like eight of them so it's either abdul who would lose his burning damage because shinra attacked the units first or vice versa there you go winner 28 and all of our abdul's are now here again uh i just placed our abdul here so that he would be able to hit you know give us like initial damage for this uh a scope of mobs and at the same time if ever the mobs are already here they would also give us you know like a little bit of help so that we can make sure that everything will be burning all right so the next unit that we will be placing will be our boy uh, kakashi and i guess that it doesn't really matter where we will place our kakashi besides he will be like on his susano form and oh my god yeah i forgot we will be needing like 800 cash for this last upgrade. <laughs> well, I guess, guys, that I will be right back once we already have enough cash. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait over 37, and we now have a maxed out Kakashi Sensei. And let's now summon his Susan. Oh my god, that was really cool. Oh my god. But anyway, guys, it's now going to be another patience game here because, well, we will be needing a freaking million to place our Gilgamesh. So, pretty sure, guys, that that would take a lot of waves again. But yeah, it'll be possible because Will Mama 5 Star will be carrying us here. So, I'll be right back again, boys. Oh my god, guys, this is so OP. We are now in Wayne War 45 and only two of our units guys not not actually only two because look at this guys like only literally only two shinras together with our of course our snipers are clapping the heck out of these mobs and still they're making the whole battlefield clean like bro <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, guys, we are not gonna miss Erwin here, but just imagine if we got like seven slot. <gasps> oh my god, Snow just said seven slot. Is that a leak for the next update? Shut up, who the heck knows? Perfect timing, guys. Exactly at wave number 50. We are now going to place our Pain Gamesh as well. And I think that I will be placing our Pain Gamesh probably. Uh, yeah, probably here since we don't have Irvin anyway. Well, I really want him to be kind of like our last line of defense, but I think Akashi would do the same job. So I guess that we're now gonna switch his attack pattern. And by the way, guys, uh, maybe some of you will be questioning my units right now because there's like one more unit, at least uh, technically he is newer compared to our Luffy six star, which is gonna be the reward from the challenge too. But I decided to not use him because not only that he's only level one at the moment, but also guys, <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, come on, Luffy Sama is really hot at the moment. I mean, he's hitting millions with Irwin buffs, so I guess that that should explain why. But yeah, this was a very easy wave number 50 run. Oh, actually, guys, Panga Mesh Final Form would still be able to clap here. Uh, at least at this part so i guess that we are really secured here guys i mean i'm not even gonna use our kakashi yet but definitely wave 60 might even be still easy for these units guys so <laughs> i'm not sure is wave 70 possible without Irwin? bro this run would hurt Irwin's feeling that is for sure wave number 55 and look at my position guys i am god <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, guys, uh, for those who actually don't know, or probably maybe some of you guys are still using Kakashi the wrong way. Kakashi is not like Meta Knight, guys. Kakashi is kind of like a projectile unit. So you can literally click all over your screen, guys, and he would still be able to attack regardless where your position is because, well, that's kind of a unit he is. Oh, actually, I just wanted to try, though. What would happen if we will do this? Oh, uh, okay, okay. I thought that... <laughs> I thought that we we're gonna fly. All right, but yeah, I mean that that would be more convenient for you guys to use Kakashi this way. And I got this tip, guys, from our hardcore snow squad as well because yeah, I really thought like on my you know like on my showcase video, since we are showcasing the units on the OG Naruto map, it's actually quite small. I didn't notice that the same way how I didn't notice that he is you know killing those air units. But <laughs> yeah, this is actually a lot lot more convenient if you're not going to move guys but i'm just gonna move guys so that your screen would not be so boring to look at you know but definitely you guys can already see the power of these units guys wave number 60 is just gonna be almost nothing here but we are now also getting pushed but keep in mind guys that well our gilgamesh is still here oh actually guys let me do this i hope that this would not take us to heck but oh oh my god okay okay no 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 no, no. oh my fps <gasps> Bro, what the crap happened? All of a sudden, <laughs> it looks like the whole battlefield turned into an underworld. Dude, that was scary as heck. God dang. All right, so I think that not having Blackbeard is actually now biting us because, I mean, because of their speed, guys. We no longer can't keep up. Not gonna lie though, I'm actually a little bit scared that this is not gonna be like a very good, good run. Okay, so there's gonna be some air units here, but I think that my Panga Mesh would be able to kill that. Bro, I think that slowing down the units is much better to have than actually Irwin. Because these ground units, look at that, they're just literally strutting all the way to our base. Oh my god. We just hit wave number 60, but we are now getting pushed, guys. Ooh, one clap. Did you guys just see that? That is courtesy of our pain, Gamesh. Should we just not use his uh, final form? I think that that would be really a lot better since we are not, you know, like um, slowing down the enemies. Uh, yeah, probably. Let's just try. Uh, probably the, the third form. Okay, switch attack. Maybe his third form would actually help us a lot here. And there you go. All right, so 1.7 million. That's not going to be a bad damage, but eight seconds. Oh, no, never mind. Its range is so bad. Ah, okay, okay. We are now in wave number 61, guys. I'm not really expecting that this is going to be this fast. Dude, these units are just really OP, but at the same time, the SBA of our units are biting us. No freaking way. I was actually expecting a more smoother run. But yeah, the SPA of our units messes up. Oh my god. But still 1 billion damage though. We definitely didn't miss our boy Irwin. But god dang, not having Blackbeard Sixter kind of feels bad because our units are really OP, but their SPA kind of sucks, you know? And since those enemies are so fast, that was the reason why we, I feel that they actually underperformed. But anyway, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe. Use Starco's no whenever you're buying Robux. And as always, I'll see you guys again in the next one. Stay cold. What is in the banner?
Peace out.